Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is your main character energy. So basically, imagine your life is a movie. What main character energy do you give off? What energy um, stands out about you? What do people remember about you? What would your... If someone was to describe you as a character, how would you be described? So I have four wait for the card to go past i have four perfumes to choose from i really like um having you guys choose between perfumes and stuff like that let me know if you like that as well um just because especially when it's different scents i feel like there's such a personal touch to like different scents that people wear and have um so i just really like that let me know if you do like it when i use perfumes and stuff like that because i just find it quite cute um but yeah i just thought it was cool for this video so pile number one we have cloud pile number two we have ari pile number three we have poison and pile number four we have j'adore so see which perfume you're drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hello and welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at your main character energy. So if you were in a movie or a TV show or a reality TV show, what would people be saying about you? And what would your main character energy be like? So you guys chose the cloud perfume. I've taken it out of this little socket um just so that it fits into the screen better um but yeah we're gonna get straight in we have luna to the left of me who's decided to sit in my spot so i'm in a completely different spot isn't it so luna's here and she's gonna be helping the reading and then to the right of me because i'm sandwiched in we also have jasper so we have two little fur babies guiding the reading today so let's get in if you hear a little meows or morning it's luna because she's a very vocal baby aren't you Yes. Okay. So pile number one, please, spirit guides, tap me in to the collective of my pile number ones, the cloud perfume pile, my pile number ones, pile number one's main character energy, pile number one's main character energy. What's interesting about you is that you know when you think of a main character and it's like the person that's always center of attention and it's the person that is pushed as the main character if you've ever watched like the tv show victorious if you've ever watched that there was the main character who was you know pushed as the main character the whole show was named after her and she was meant to be like the favorite one because like i said she was the main however all of the side characters very much made the show and acted as their own main characters in their own way like i've seen a lot of people have love for all of the characters around her but not specifically her and i feel like you have that same energy of you're not always at the fourth front but that allure and presence and your own individuality creates this main character energy around you so i don't know if you guys are you know you may post far in between on social media or you may not always be the loudest in the room however there's just something about you that just gives off that energy of main character and i do think i do feel like you guys may have like a certain aesthetic and style to you or like a quirky authentic style to you um but it could also be just your energy and aura there's when I think of the cloud perfume and I'm thinking of clouds in the air, there's like a mystique about you and an allure and essence about you. So it's like people want to know more, people want more. And that's um, a main character energy that you guys have. I would also say that you guys do present yourself very well. Like I said, I was really picking up on like an aesthetic or just a certain way that you style and dress yourself. Again, it could just be your aura. So anything that you wear, people are drawn to because what i'm really picking up with you guys pile number one is if you were on a tv show or a movie or something like that i feel like you'd be one of those people that would set trends by just doing things that are very normal to you um a way that i'm let me an example so think of if you've ever watched euphoria i still haven't actually watched the tv show euphoria but i know that there's a girl on that called alexa demi and she plays um I can't remember the, the person's name but she plays this character and everyone 
you know talks about her and like her eye shape people say she has siren eyes and people then want to get these siren eyes and then people want to dress like her and do hair like her and have clothes like her but in actuality i don't even think it's necessarily anything that she does i think it's her aura she has a very seductive aura so no matter it is what she do i think people would try and mimic that because that's just her energy and another thing about her because i remember going on her instagram i think she had about nine posts on her instagram she very rarely posts which was quite interesting because there was like a huge wave of people talking about her a lot you know what i mean um and i think that you have that sort of main character energy where you don't have to do a whole lot it's just your essence is very alluring or very um miss i want to say ethereal but it's also like there's a mystique about you that lures people in um so let's actually pull some cards uh pile number one pile number one please spirit guides what is pile number one's main character energy oh i just they just exploded in my hand um right let me get into my position because luna's finally uh finally moved so let's let's get into my position okay so pile one please spirit guides pile number one i also am being told that you guys i'm picking up ethereal beauty for some of you and then for those of you that don't resonate with ethereal beauty i'm being told classic beauty and when i say beauty it doesn't matter what gender you are everybody's beautiful everybody has a certain essence and i keep picking up classic and ethereal so when i'm thinking of classic i'm thinking like there's a timeless um energy in regards to your beauty like you could fit in any time period there's just like think of when i think of that i don't know what that noise is outside i swear someone's just playing the trumpet anyway when i think of a timeless beauty and a beauty that fits in any era i think of capricorn a lot of capricorn i find that, pe that people with a lot of capricorn in their chat tend to have a very timeless ask to them where they can fit in any era and come across as very beautiful um and then i'm also picking up ethereal so like not of this world so it's either beauty like out of this time um the way that you come across and fit into um fit into this world <laughs> in regards to your appearance but i also if it's not out of this time it's out of this world like ethereal um another realm sort of feeling that's what i'm getting here uh pile number because when we think of the skies and the clouds, they're out of reach, you know what I mean? So there's, there's a feeling of you not, I can't touch you. And even if I was close to a cloud and I tried to touch it, I'd go through it anyway. It's like, I can't grab you, I can't grab that. So I feel like people would, if you were in a movie or something like that, people would try and mimic things that you do. But it wouldn't work because it's not necessarily things you're doing, the way you're speaking or outfits you're wearing or hairstyles or whatever the case. It's just your essence, um, which is why it's there's like an enigma there. There's a, there's a mystique coming through in regards to your main character energy. So pile number one, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number one. Tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. Tap me in to the collective of my pile number ones. Oh, we just had two cards. Just yeah, I feel like the main character energy you have as well is like a trendsetter energy. We have the world, boozy brunch, abundant success, and we have the queen of vibes, body, masculine, feminine energy. I also feel like you'd be one of those people in like a boy group or a girl group that goes solo and does really well. You know, when you see people like like a Beyonce, you know, when she left Destiny Child and she just did really well and she kind of like stuck out. Um, yeah i'm trying to think of other groups i know there's a bunch of them but for some reason i can only think of destiny's child in my mind i do feel like you have that sort of energy where you just stick out um even if you didn't have like the strongest voice or like the um like best dance moves it's just your essence in general it's like people want to tune in check into you there's that sort of vibe that i'm picking up because it is you know your aura and your energy but i am also saying that whenever i i don't know why i'm picking up some like virgo energy because i feel like whenever you perfect the craft you do it very very well to the point of excellence so that people look up to you it's almost like i want you to mentor me it's like i'm looking up to you in that way think of like in high school musical with like ryan and chape and they were in the drama club and they were like you know doing every show so anyone that would like go to that, to that school and would want to be in that drama club, they'd look up to those two sort of thing. So it's like you kind of give off that vibe in whatever area that you're in. So say now you are um, into surfing. I feel like 
you perfect it to the point that you're very very good at it that people would look up to you if you are into makeup you perfect it to a point that you're very good at it that people look up to you and I think that you add your own twist which makes things um it, it makes things fresh and it's like I want to I want to I kind of want to copy it, I want to mimic it, I want to kind of have that lightning in the bottle. It's reminding me, there's a lot of celebrities and stuff coming up for you guys, because I do think you have, you know when celebrities have that sort of star factor, I feel like you guys do have that, but in a kind of mystical way, it's quite interesting. But the reason I was saying Rihanna is because I remember Rihanna got a tattoo, and it, it was on her finger, and it said shh, and it was like shh, dot, dot, dot. And when she put her finger up to her lips, it was like, she, she was like shim people. And then I remember like a bunch of celebrities and just a bunch of people ended up getting that tattoo because it was like, she was like a trendsetter like that. So I feel like you have that sort of vibe to you where you'd set a trend and then everyone would be like, get the doe eyes, get the siren eyes, get the, uh, I don't, I can't even think of other trends that I've thought of, but like, you know, it's like you'd have, you'd kind of start a trend in that way. Like you'd make something cool um one more card please for it guys one more card pile number pile number one we have the ten of feels from the end result and the back of the deck you have justice the social justice warrior making amends at the back of the deck one thing that i'm picking up um especially with the world card and then the end result card it's like like i was saying about alexa demi or alexa demi i don't know how to say her last name she's been in very little roles and she's barely post on social media but everyone wants to know about her they want to know her age they want to know what she does behind the scenes like they want to know more about her think of like SZA with her music like before she dropped her second album she'd only ever put out that one real album um and everyone obsessed over it everyone loved it it was in the charts for a very long time people were very very excited for new music that any little scrap she put out people were jumping on it because she was so good at what she did she brought something very fresh and very unique so people were very drawn to that so people were very excited and anticipating the next album that she put out and i just feel like you guys have that same vibe like even if it's just wearing an outfit it could even be effortless but i just feel like you guys have very good attention to detail maybe it's the way that you know you dress and the way you put things together that things just really suit you and i think you've honed who you are um in a very authentic way that it's kind of this trendsetter energy and i think that adds to your main character energy and i think it's quite interesting that a lot of your appearance or the way that you come across is coming up instead of more things behind the surface because like i said with the cloud energy here it's like i want to know more like i'm seeing the end result but i'm not really seeing what went into the process why you did this why you did that there's a mystique around you which is making me very drawn to you think of when celebrities very rarely um do interviews and things like that people are very drawn to them there's a mystique that people want to know you know what i mean and i feel like you guys have that vibe not and you wouldn't be the type of like if you were in a movie or a tv show you wouldn't be the person that was overexposed you know like the kardashians are very overexposed we know every little aspect of their life to the point that people aren't necessarily looking to them anymore it's kind of gone past its day it's it's we we've seen too much of them i feel like you wouldn't be like that you have that sort of mystique there um which is really interesting and i feel just like in everyday life you have that where people would want to know more like people will see you on a bus one time i see you walking through their store one time and it's like they've thought about you or something that you were aware of another way you approached and it's almost like oh that person um inspired me in some sort of way i think that you do have that vibe you know like i don't know if you guys ever did this but like you know like when people did like mood boards and they'd add like they'd cut out magazines and stuff and they'd post photos we had to do that in school with our books like we had to put pictures of what we liked and make like a mood board of our books in school i don't know why um so i'm just thinking of someone cutting out magazines and sticking things there but i'm almost seeing people in real life maybe looking at your social media or just seeing you and it's like a mental note in my brain and it's like those jeans with that top yeah i want to do that that made that person look cool like that person was really cool i want to do that too so i feel like you guys have that as well i don't know if some of you guys put things in your hair you could have different kind of strands and streaks in your hair you could add flowers into your hair or beads into your hair and things like that um that's another thing that i'm feeling really drawn to i just think your authenticity um 
is something that really draws people in. I think that you're a trendsetter, but the reason you're a trendsetter is because you're not trying to set trends. You're not trying to do something different. You're just doing you. That's why people are kind of drawn to that then. Um, and I do think as well, you guys are very naturally attractive. If you were in a TV show or movie, people would be like, how to get this person's hair, how to get, you know, like Rachel from Friends and everyone wanted her hair because she had like different types of hairstyles. You kind of have that. And as well, I'm thinking of like Elvis with his hair and like the jacket and that style that's like Elvis. And my nana used to tell me all the boys in school used to try and look like Elvis and stuff. Um, it's reminding me of that. Like, I feel like you'd have that sort of vibe, you know? So pile number one, pile number one's main character energy. Pile number one's main character energy. Because people rarely see too much of you or you don't speak too much or you don't over explain yourself and you just keep things cute and simple, I think that is a main character vibe because it's like, I want to know more. That person's really cool, I want to know more. Pile number... Oh god, that card just ran. Like, literally ran. Two seconds. Let me go grab it. So we have work, focus, passion, diligence, success, teamwork, and finance. Put it down a little bit. You can see it then. Pile number one, please, for guides. Pile number one's main character energy. Pile number one's main character energy. We have deception untruthful deceiving self for others not accepting or looking at reality i do feel like do you know when you see um i like the way i'm looking at things now i'm looking at things from somebody else's perspective and i'm feeling really down and i'm feeling really low and i'm not feeling good but then i'm looking maybe at your social media or i'm remembering something that you said or the way that you were and it's almost like I see you as a light like a like like a lighthouse and it's almost activating me because I want to be like that person too I want to be cool like that person too I want to live in my truth like that person too so it's almost like acting then as a lighthouse um I feel like you do activate and motivate people in that sort of way you know how I I, I don't have TikTok at the moment but you know when people would say on TikTok to be that boy or that girl or that you know whatever I just Feel like you guys would motivate people in that way if that makes sense um but i do feel that sometimes you being a light like that people that might not know themselves all too much they may try and mimic that because it's like well it's that light is working for that person and i want to shine like that person let me mimic it um, and i feel like people might try and do that too but i feel like in regards to main character energy it's then people looking up to you so you might get a couple of copycats um from time to time um but as I always say, there's only one you um, and that formula works for you because it's your formula. And then work, focus, passion, diligence, success, teamwork. I just feel like whatever it is that you do for, it could be a hobby. It could just be something you do on the side um, or it could even be a certain career path that you have or a job. There's something about you doing it very well and adding your own touch and it almost looks effortless you know what i mean because like i said with the finished product people are seeing a finished product i see you don't explain yourself too much it's just like here here it is it's out there so people are looking at it like oh it they're acting like it's effortless it must be effortless and then they're having a hard time with it it's just i feel like you guys perfect things you know what i mean um and you may work on yourself a lot that's why there's such an authentic vibe to you because i feel like you guys do work on yourself and get to know yourselves a lot um which is really lovely. In the back of the deck, we have relationship, growth, understanding, growth, understanding, compromise, love, relationship with self and others. I do think as well, you would be a light for people to then love themselves. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, I'm going to pour into myself because that person clearly pours into themselves. That person um, is showing up for themselves really well. I want to do that too. That person looks really good. I want to look like that too. Like, I feel like you have, you give that motivation in regards to your main character energy. Um, pile number one. Pile number one, please, for guides. Pile number one. Pile number one's main character energy. 
I'm hearing uh, Big Energy by Lado. I think that's going to be your song. So we have Bluff. We have Practicality. I feel like you really do motivate people. It's like 10 steps to look like... If you were on a TV show or a movie, it's like 10 steps to look like this person. Like, you know, when you think of movies and they have an aesthetic to it, like, like, um, like the Wednesday film had a vibe to it and had that song and then it went trending and it was like that whole thing. And then uh, Clueless had its own aesthetic and it had its own vibe. Like, I feel like you guys have that, um, have that vibe. You know, like Harry Styles and then his, he puts his music out and then he has a vibe and then you know it's like unique and it's different and people are drawn in it's that sort of rihanna with her red hair <laughs> Nicki minaj with the the pink the pink wigs and yeah pile number it's like a star power one and the thing is about celebrities and like we call them stars and stuff like a star is high in the sky you can't grab it just like the cloud perfume you guys chose it's high clouds are high in the air you can't grab them and when we think about celebrities the reason that a lot of people are drawn to celebrities it's like they want to know what's going on in their world they want to know what makes them that star they want to know all about that so it's like you give off an energy where they see the final product and everything's the way that it is and it's you know they can see that aura emitting from you and they're drawn into you and but they're not you know you're not saying too much so it's like well what's going on what do they do at home what do they get up to like what's going on so it's almost like i want to see windows into your life and almost live through you in a way um or be inspired by you in a way and even with like this um perfume that you guys chose um a lot of ariana's perfumes tend to be quite sweet and quite girly and and sugary and sweet whereas cloud is one of those only perfumes out of like the range that she has which is very distinct um and because of that that's actually a very loved perfume it's not particularly my favorite i don't know why i'm letting you know my favorites but that is one of the most favored perfumes if you read up about it because people really like them and it's very different um which is you know that um that vibe that you guys have pile number one and we also have a fair as well Okay, in the back of the deck, we have criticism. Okay. In regards to your main character energy as well, I do feel that because you have that light, I feel like you may attract moths, but then you also may attract people that don't, that may get triggered by that light. So I feel like you might get people that are just mean for no reason with you sometimes. And I just think that your light shines a light on their shadows in that reason um especially if you're showing up and maybe you are looking good and somebody doesn't feel like they look the best and that could trigger them and they could target you it could be that you are constantly very happy when when people see you um and you just have a light to you when people see you and then people may get triggered by that if they're not feeling that way inside um or it could be that you know you don't validate people around you you're just very much to yourself um and people may be trying to get validation around you but you um you may be somewhat of an introvert and then people may feel um upset by that so then there's like a projection so i feel like sometimes you may get a projection onto you which a lot of the time i don't feel is fair um but i feel like it's because there's that cloud it's like people are only gonna see something through their own perception so it's like if people are looking at life in a light way they're going to get inspired by you and see you as that light whereas if people are looking at life through a lens of you know um sadness and not feeling good about themselves then they're going to project something else onto you you know what i mean so i feel like you deal with that and i feel like if you were in a movie or a tv show you would then have your fair share of people just projecting stuff onto you um that would get triggered by that i do see that um bluff practicality affair yeah i feel like you help like you inspire people to put things in motion you ins it's like you're that character on a tv show or in a band or in a group that has this unique way of like this unique style that people are just drawn to because people want different people identify with that you know what i mean like people get 
people want to be a part of that then like it's it's different it's unique i want to be like that i want to shine like that i want to have that person's essence like that's the the energy then that you give off um which is really really interesting and i don't know why i keep hearing poker face like by lady gaga can't read my poker face so it's like i want to know what this person's thinking i want to know what this person's feeling um i want to know more about that uh that's another thing coming through and i i feel like with the bluff card as well you know the jupiter um and gemini energy i just feel like people it's almost like i want to collect knowledge on you i want to find out things about you like what do you eat what do you what do you drink like um like i don't know why i'm just being shown like a, like if you were a celebrity i'm being shown like a magazine and people like what pile of the ones eat in a day and like they eat these salads and they eat the this pizza and they drink this drink and it's like you know eat what this person's eating like i just there's something about that coming through that i feel like you would kind of start a trend with like that um i can just see it it's quite i, I feel like you naturally just give off that energy anyway but if you were in a tv show or celebrity or if you are in a tv show and a celebrity watching this i feel like you'd give off that vibe um 100 percent, and i feel like a lot of people romanticize you as well specifically like people in relationships that see you in that way i feel like a lot of people would romanticize about you uh in that way as well so pile number one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at your main character energy so you guys chose the ari pack parfum <laughs> perfume i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number two please for guys the ari pile pile number two's main character energy pile number two's main character energy when i tap into your energy from the aspect of like other people I feel like I want to be liked by you. Like, I want your approval. I want you to like me. I want you to find me attractive. I want you to want to be my friend. Like, that's the vibe I'm stepping into as I tap into other people's energy looking at you. It's like, I want to... I want you to accept me. <laughs> like, I, I want that from you. Um, which is quite interesting. It's almost like I feel like I want to chase you. Um, not like, you know, chase you around. You Not that, you know, we're not playing tag. But I mean, like, I want to graft. I want to... I'm fluttering around you and I, I want you to see me. Like, that's kind of how it's... I'm wanting to impress you. That's the main character vibe that you guys have. Pile number two. Pile number two's main character... Pile number two's main character energy. Pile number two's main character energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Swipe right, a new opportunity. I feel like you get people in their feelings. And I feel like it's also with friendships. You may find with friendships that like, you may even get friends that get jealous. Like, I'm seeing somebody be friends with you and then you go and hang out with somebody else and then it's almost like I'm in my feelings and I'm jealous or I'm annoyed. You may get that. Um, but also, I just feel like you draw... You guys may draw in a lot of romantic partners or people just look at you in that way. It's like, I want to chase you. I want to pursue you. That's a vibe. And I think for you guys, fully settling and aligning with your divine feminine energy is going to be if you don't do it already very fruitful for you because i think that's the energy that you naturally reside in it doesn't matter what gender i just think that that energy when you naturally reside in that i feel like um that's a kind of key to your abundance in this life um just settling into that energy because i feel like you incarnated with that energy quite strong within you um which is why i'm seeing people feel emotionally connected to you and, and being drawn to you in that way Pile number two. Pile number two, please, for it, guys. Pile number two. Yeah, I see you not having to do a whole lot for people to be drawn to you. And if you're like, well, 
you say that but no one necessarily steps towards me um i do feel like you're the type of person to get a lot of his secret admirers but i'm also seeing that a lot of the times you may be oblivious to that um two people finding you attractive or two people trying to flirt with you or like i see somebody just like walking into a store and then people are looking at them but like that person's not aware uh someone's trying to flirt but like that person's not aware like it's just that's what i'm picking up um and again another feels energy we've got the two of cups engagement photos making a choice so i feel like that main character energy it's it's kind of um i want to say you come across like a romantic you come across as somebody that i want to cuff you come across as someone i want to be in a relationship with or somebody that i want to be close friends with i it's it's almost this feeling of like i want to be loved by you i want to be around you in that way like there's that sort of vibe and feeling that i'm picking up um really really strongly in regards to your main character energy uh i feel like you guys are quite attractive to look at um maybe in a very conventional way because i don't know why i just got a flash of zac efron fun fact when i was in school i had a silver heart necklace with a picture of troy from high school musical which was played by zac efron in it and i used to wear it to school that's a fun fact about me but yeah i just got shown uh zac efron because i got shown the actual necklace i used to wear on my neck so it's kind of that vibe um yeah i feel like that would be your main character energy like i feel like if you were in a movie or a tv show you'd be like the love interest that people would want to be with i remember when i was in college and the wolf of wall street came out and margaret robbie played naomi and i remember a lot of people talking about her and finding her attractive so i just feel like you'd be that person and i know like obviously you know everyone wanted to be with troy um with the high school musical thing so it's that sort of vibe it's like you it's like the bachelor bachelorette sort of vibe <laughs> that i'm getting from you guys is like this romantic feeling like i want to be with you you may have a lot of leave replacements um you don't have to but it's something like venusian uh taurus libra vibes pile number you may also be somebody that's constantly in a relationship or you could be in a relationship right now so people are viewing you like that as well uh pile number two the hermit off the grid question society yeah it shows interesting as well like i'm being shown justin bieber and i know justin bieber's constantly since he was young been in relationship and a relationship and the relationship he's always been tied to someone uh so there's that sort of vibe coming through i think like jay-z and beyonce always being together i know beyonce i'm pure beyonce is a libra rise and i don't know how true that is and i know jay-z is a libra moon because i remember when i was studying astrology i was looking at his natal chart which i find quite interesting because it's like jay-z and beyonce so there's it could be like a partner that you have that you've been with for a really long time you could be someone that's always in relationships you may just find that a lot of people do fantasize in that aspect over you or want to be loved by you um that's what's that song i want to be loved by you i i don't know the rest of the lyrics but that song just came up and I don't know why I'm continuing to shuffle because I was only going to pull three cards. But I guess I'll pull a fourth uh, because I keep shuffling. So that's obviously for a reason. So let me pop these over. I don't know why I, I wanted to pull a fourth here. I just started to shuffle. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two is main character energy, the sun. Insta frame, I see in the bright side. Look at that, we've got two pink energies for heart chakra and then we've got the watery blue emotional energy um, as well. In the back of the deck, we've got the seven of feels, again, the water energy, first trap, stepping out of the comfort zone. Yeah, I don't know if it's like pictures you post on social media, people may be just very, I do see that people are quite lusty towards you, find you very attractive in that way, but I just keep feeling like I'm picturing myself. Sorry guys, the camera cut out on me, but um, what I was saying was I almost feel like I want to be loved by you, I want to be your friend, or I want to be in your circle. Um, but it's in, a, it's in an emotional way, like I feel like I'm being drawn in emotionally, like I feel like I'm wanting to swim in that, like I feel 
I, I, it could even be just people projecting that romant, romantified, romanticized um, version of you onto you, but that's what I'm feeling. Like I feel drawn to you. And I also, cause I'm thinking of Taurus energy and that kind of seductive energy, sensual energy. Um, I don't know if you speak, when you speak, some of you guys could speak very slow. Some of you guys could have a really beautiful voice um, because I feel like people are quite drawn to your voice. Um, you could have a very, you know, healing voice or it's just the way that you speak. I don't know why I'm picking up Taurus Mercury, um, but there's a certain way that you speak. Um, you could also have Mercury in your, uh, in your um, not Mercury. You could also have Venus in your second house. That's what I was trying to say. Um, it's just a way to the way that you talk where I'm like, oh, tell me more. Like, I, I feel that way. Um, but then also I just feel like the way that maybe you move your hands or the way that you, you may be a very tactile person when you talk to people, um, be quite touchy-feely like that. Um, that could be another thing that people are quite drawn to. There's something quite graceful there. Um, I'm also being told you give very nice hugs. <laughs> so there's that coming through as well. So there's, there's that intimacy, like wanting to be intimate and wanting to be around you um but i do feel like people do romanticize you um a lot pile number pile number two um especially with the, the first trap at the back of the deck stepping out of the comfort zone i feel like some people might get a bit nervous to talk to you a little bit starstruck in that way <laughs> that is what I'm, I'm picking up like i don't know you may find that like when you go on dates and stuff with people like they might not be that talkative or they might come across a little bit shy um you don't know why you may think oh maybe they don't like me but it's just like a nervousness um that happens I feel sometimes with you guys if you've gone on dates and people are a little bit mute or a bit fumbly and not knowing what to say that's why uh and then I see other people kind of like faking it till they make it so trying to act confident then um to the point that they may be over the top so I feel like you either get somebody that's really over the top or somebody that's just very nonchalant like not saying too much and either way i think that you there's nerves here i'm here at m m um palms are sweaty that that lyric so yeah i feel like there's a nervousness um i think that you guys are are very alluring and, and and very attractive uh and i think that what's interesting with the hermit card being here and questioning society and off the grid i'm seeing people project onto you and and that romantic energy but then it's almost like when I think of the hermit then I'm thinking of Rapunzel in her tower and trying to get to Rapunzel um or Anne and which one was it Anne or Elsa that ran away Elsa it's like I'm trying to get to that person like I, that's why I'm feeling like I have to graft and work to climb up to the top of that tower to get Rapunzel or to find Elsa or Anna whichever one it was um or find Nemo <laughs> I don't know why I thought of Nemo it just came through but like there's a feeling of that like I'm wanting to try and um work I've got to work for this person I've got to try and get this person to want to be around me so maybe you're somebody that doesn't um open up to almost everyone but then people may see you open up to other people and be like I want that person to be like that around me whether it's friendships or whether it's relationships it's like I want that person to be around me um I do feel as well some people might get a little bit possessive with you so I would say to be careful with people that try and love bomb you because I'm even being shown it in friendships it's like people wanting to hold you in place to keep you around and then getting annoyed when you spread your wings um because I don't feel like you're someone that can really be tamed in that way but I, I feel like some people may try and do that it's like when you have something that you love and then you don't want to use it all the time because you don't want it to like run out and then it's like you don't you won't let anyone touch it so you now you buy like a perfume and it's a really perfume but then you don't touch it or you buy nice tableware but then it's on display but then you don't want to use it because you don't want it to get ruined there's almost like a vibe of that that people may have with you um something nice that I want to keep in my pocket and it's just for me and I don't want anyone else to touch it that sort of vibe I think sometimes you get um that that, that kind of draws people in sometimes but I feel like it has people try and stick to you um and sometimes in, an, in a healthy way um especially if they haven't got to know you intimately but they're also looking at you as a prize so I would say to pay attention to who love bombs um because I feel like you have had your fair share of that it is coming across that way but I I just keep the way I'm looking at you it's like I want to be either with I either want to be your best friend or I want to be in a relationship with you it's that vibe people want to get intimate and close up with you um which is really really interesting so let's pull some more cards pile number two please spirit guides pile number two 
some of you could come across in a very feminine way i'm picking it up um like very pretty boys very pretty girls you know just very pretty people people that look pretty people that it's like oh wow like um I don't know why I'm thinking of like 1950s like Hollywood glamour. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. It's just coming through, but there's there's a prettiness, um, or like a flower, like it's pretty. You know what I mean? And it's like I want to pick it, but then I also want it to live for a long time because it's pretty. So it, there's a dilemma. Um, yeah, there's there's that that's coming through. Pile number two is main character energy. I feel like in if you were in, ever in a movie or a TV show, you would be the one that like you'd be that person that everyone wanted to be with uh you'd be like the love interest that people would want to be with uh think of like rose and jack from titanic i feel like they both equally had that same energy of like oh i'd love to be with a jack or i'd love to be with a rose i feel like they both equally had that vibe oh no sorry guys i just knocked my stand completely over i feel like some people the, the way that the video cut out and then the stand knocked over i almost feel like People might even get clumsy around you or like not know what to say and just blur things out to you. Um, you could even find that sometimes people are just a bit rude. I don't condone anyone being rude, but it's almost like I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to tease you, which is not good. But th there's that coming out as well. It's like I don't, yeah, like I'm doing clumsy things. Um, like I don't know how to handle this ornament sort of thing. Um, I would definitely be careful for people that just project onto you uh, for their, just just because it's like, ooh, shiny, you know? Um, pile number two. Pile number two is main character energy. We have surrender, release, change, focus, turn things around, ending of eras, inner knowledge. Pile number we have journey crossroads forward thinking time to move on i think for a lot of people as well they look at you maybe as the one that got away or somebody that they can't have and i think that's a main character energy as well um because i'm hearing like wildest dreams by taylor swift and she's like say you'll remember me so it's almost like I have a really good image of you in my mind and I would have loved to be with you but for some reason it didn't work out and now it's like you're a thing of the past but I think back to you a lot so there's a lot of that as well kind of like a memorabilia sort of thing um you know when something's gone we tend to be very nostalgic about it and hold on to it I do feel that you may find that friends and people that have been in relationships with you may look at you in that way um or relationships you've had with people in you know they may look at you in that way um like missed opportunities and the one that got away sort of vibe because we have two energy two cards here that are talking about retreat um and i think as well people would be drawn to you and again it's i'm being drawn in i want to be loved with you it's that beauty but then i feel like when i'm coming close to you like i said there's there's that hermit energy about you there's a depth to you so it's almost like when I'm trying to grab onto you then you're swimming down into the ocean and I can't reach the ocean so it's like you're all the way down there and I can't grab you and that's where the true you is so I can't swim down there because humans can't swim that deep so it's like it's in a memory it's like I've got to let go so then it's like this nostalgic vibe it's like two worlds so you may have had situations and relationships with people as well because it's coming through very strongly for you guys where you just couldn't be together because maybe someone was from like a certain religion and they felt that they couldn't or somebody was um you know across the seas and then they couldn't or just things just didn't work out but there's that vibe of like or maybe you're somebody that constantly is doing inner work and always moving on so there's this vibe of like say so you'll remember me like wildest dreams sort of vibes like that's the that's the vibe that i'm picking up from you guys and i do feel that you get that a lot the fact that we have surrender and journey and then the back of the deck is freedom um with the birds flying here so it's like um maybe you're kind of like a wildflower and a bit of a free spirit um so it's almost like you're here for a while and then gone so there's that nostalgic feeling of like i want that love to continue but i can't maybe you know moving on or maybe um there's just certain people that remember connections with you and hold on to that in a very very nostalgic way which is why it's coming up in that main character energy um 
if you were in movies i feel like you'd be cast in movies where think of jack and rose from titanic where like they can't be like i think that you'd be in movies like that i'm trying to think of any other movie like that i know there's a lot but for some reason nothing's come into my mind um movies where people can't really be together what's give me give me that like uh Think of like Little Mermaid and Eric and they were from two different worlds. Like it's that sort of thing. G Romeo and Juliet, you know, it, it's that sort of vibe that I feel people are looking at you with. And I, do, I don't know why, I don't know if you've had a lot of experiences like that. Or it's just a sort of forbidden love, a forgotten love or like that sort of vibe. It's, yeah, th there's a lot of that when it's happening to you. And, so if you haven't had relationships where that's happened, I, I think it's either just people being nostalgic or people have just seen you around and thought, oh, I should have shot my shot, uh, shot my shot with that person. I don't know the word. Um, and I did it. And now it's like nostalgia, the one that got away vibe. Tile number two. Or I wish I would have just swum down to the ocean sort of thing. Or I wish I would have just you know grown legs and come out of the ocean sort of thing if it's the other way around like pile number two is main character vibes main character energy we have a submission venus and pisces yeah this is this just this romantified um like i'm in love with you and we can't be and now you're walking into the ocean and i can't be with you and it it's I'm dreaming about it a lot. Like, I'm daydreaming about. I'm hearing Mariah Carey song "Fantasy." Like, I'm daydreaming and I'm fantasizing about what could be. You know, you're making me feel romantic feelings. How would a relationship be with this person? We have speculation. Jupiter and Cancer. Pile number. You have power, moon and Scorpio as well. There's such a depth to you and some people don't expect it um, with you guys. Because it's like, oh, I want to be loved by this person. And you're like, yeah, okay, well, let's swim to the, to the bottom of the ocean. And they're like, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? And there's fears that come up and then it's like, oh my God, you know, the strongest will survive and come down to the ocean. That's how it feels. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of nostalgia here. The back of the deck, you have adaptability, moon and Gemini. Um, what's interesting about the adaptability card, um, and obviously the person has a bunch of hands with different objects, I feel like people try and, might try and mimic what they think you want. Um, so say now you have a certain vibe to you, like you are a very romantic person, I feel like people would try and be very romantic. If you are somebody that's very attractive, people may try and mold themselves to appear attractive to you. That's why I was picking up at the beginning, like I'm trying to please you, I'm trying to be liked by you. You may have like certain friends try and do things just because you do them. Um, there's something about that, like I feel like I'm trying to mimic things to please you in that sort of way. So you may find that people do do that. Um, so be careful and make sure you're feeling people out before you're opening yourself up because I do think sometimes people might step towards you with a mask and I don't feel a lot of the time that it's always like malicious, like yeah, I'm wearing a mask. It's like, I want you to like me. So I'm gonna be what you need me to be or what you'd like me to be. Uh, so there's a bit of a mask there um, that sometimes people may place on. Um, and I think that's more people that are a little bit more insecure and feel the need to do that. I don't think that's everybody. Um, but I do think that there may be a wound there where people have tried to pretend that they're into things that you do when maybe they weren't. Um, so there's, there is a little bit of a trigger there that I'm, that I'm seeing. One of my cats is moving around and Jasper's just staring out to see where the noise is coming from. Um, submission, speculation. It's funny because it's like people are wanting to see it's like that shell that's tightly shut and people are want, know and can feel that love and energy so people are trying to open to it and let, have you kind of like surrender and submit to opening that shell um so that they can come in there too there's like a feeling of that um so it's almost like i'm trying to conquer this this shell you know um and open this shell uh and i think people may try and find a lot of info out about you as well um because it's almost like I'm trying to gain power, but not like gain power over you. Maybe in a toxic way, some people might have, but it's more so I want to, um, it's like, 
the, some people and this is a bit of a toxic thing so i'd say to pay attention to this some people because it's like i want what i can't have maybe this person's in a relationship or this person isn't being too open it's almost like a gaston vibe of like if i can get this person to like me it's like i feel like an e there's an ego boost here and if i can get this person to open up to me because it's like that's like the prize on top of the shelf i want to keep trying to win until i get it so i do feel like you have drawn in people like that just because of your essence so again i would say to be um careful but a lot of people that do feel that emotional vibe and wanting to be loved by you i don't think it's everyone but the reason it's coming up is because i think i have i do think you've dealt with people like that before you know um but in full i think your main character energy is very romantic i feel that people want to be liked by you people want to be on your team it's like i want to be part of your inner circle i want to be part of your tribe um i want to be around you there's there's this beauty and this just lovely energy that i want to that i want to be a part of it's it's quite beautiful actually um so there's a lot of fantasizing there so yeah pile number two that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pals three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at your main character energy so if you were in a tv show a movie a reality tv show what would people be saying about you what would your character be like and also just in general life what main character energy do you give off so you guys chose the poison perfume i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move in to our oracle card so let's get in so pile number three please for guys pile number three what main character energy does my pile number threes give off what main character energy does my pile number threes give off um who sung right i'm hearing lana del rey's voice but i don't know if this I, it's a song she would have sung but it's not on any of her albums it's i think it was for maleficent i'm sure it was i'm sure it was like um upon a dream you know the sleeping beauty song but she sings in like a really haunting kind of way um there's a feel like like that's the song coming through but when i think of that i would think oh scary maleficent but it's not that i'm not it's nothing to do with a maleficent movie necessarily it's more so to do with like this seductive vibe that i'm picking out here like i feel like if you were in a movie or a tv show just your main character energy you'd be that person that was just very um seductive somebody that was very maybe a little bit intense somebody that was very um it's like the 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 bad guy or the bad girl but it's like the one that you love like the harley quinn you know what i mean like the the joker but it's like i'm trying to think of like in a movie where there's maybe the the villain but you you love the villain it's like oh my god i want to be the villain um I can't think of anyone for some reason and I don't know why maybe something will come to me but I'm just thinking as well of the scent poison like it's this dark musky mysterious kind of scent I don't even know what notes are in it it's just this very intense scent and it's very distinct like when you smell it it's like oh like that's a that's it's a smell that lingers it's not like if I use like a lighter perfume it doesn't necessarily linger but that perfume it, it will linger for days and i just feel like you you have that sort of essence um about you where you just kind of linger pile number three please spirit guides pile number three's main character energy pile number three's main hey jasper jasper's here with us you okay i love you i love you so much you know when they do their eyes to say love you and they close their eyes really slowly that's what he's doing i love you He's so sweet. We have the hermit off the grid question in society. Pile number three. Pile number three. Pile number three's main character energy. 
We have temperance, equal friendly, fine and balance. Lots of pink heart chakra energy coming through here. Pile number three. We have the four of vibes, which is the four of wands. Went viral, manifesting results. And the back of the deck, you guys have the seven of vibes, which is the seven of wands. Sorry, not sorry, stepping out of the comfort zone. I feel like if you were in a movie or a TV show, you would be like that fan favorite that might have even left early on, but the remembrance of that person lasts the whole movie. I don't know if you've ever watched Pretty Little Liars, if you have, and it doesn't it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to describe the character because there was a character called Alison De Laurentiis. She is off in the first movie. She's gone in the first movie, but like not in the first movie, first episode. Whereas like for the next five seasons and the next you know, each season has about 25 episodes. She's mentioned in literally every single episode. And a lot of the plot is like, where did she go? She went missing. Has she, you know, has she been off? Where is she? Is she still alive? It's this mystery centered around her. But she's not even in the movie. But it's that mystique that it's like, oh, that, that, that person. So it's like there's a lingering. And that's what I'm picking up for you guys in regards to your main character energy. I feel like if you were in a movie or a TV show, like, it would be centered around you. But there's, there'd be this mystique of, like, are they alive? Are they not? What do they do? What are they up to? It, it's given a bit of, um, I'm trying to think of a, another character like that. Um, I can't think of one right now. But that that's a vibe that i'm getting and it's like i don't know a whole lot about you but i want to because there's something about you where it's like you're you're lingering and i'm hearing a lot about you but i'm not seeing you like it's like i'm now you see me now you don't i'm here but then i'm not um and there's a mystique but it's different to pile number one like pile number one was like oh it's ethereal and it's a mystique and it's like i want to grab onto you but i can't but it's like i know you're here i've heard people speak of you people have good things to say about you People have, t have talked about you. People have been in relationships with you. They've described you in, in, in very nice ways. However, I can't see you. <laughs> like, you're not here. So it's like, I want to know more. Um, and You may even say things as well. Pile number three, where it's like, what? Like, why? Why did you come up with that? Like, I feel like you guys have a very big mind in the sense of, like, you guys are very intelligent. There's a lot that may go on in your mind. Um... But then I also feel like you guys are quite deep. So you could say things as like, where did that come from? Like, what even possessed you to say that? Like, um, because it, there's a curious vibe that you guys have in general about life. But I also feel that then that, that mirrors to other people where people feel curious about you. Because I'm thinking of like Caroline. And Caroline was very cu curious about that door and she kept going through it. Um, and that whole world that she goes into is very curious. So it's almost like I'm looking at you kind of like Caroline. But then I'm also looking at you as the door that I want to go down and I'm Caroline. So there's that vibe to you. Very Alice in Wonderland following the rabbit. You are the rabbit and I'm I'm kind of go in there and it's like what goes on behind closed doors like what's going on in your mind um so there's a lot of that coming through where it's like i want to pick your mind i want to know what goes on in your world um some of you guys could be into like divination you guys could you know be astrologers you guys could connect to spirit so it could be that that you guys talk about things in a very deep way and people want to know more um you could just have a very unique way of you could even like hide what you do for like a job and things like that so it's like what are they up to what do they do you could be somebody that moves about a lot by yourself because we have got the hermit card here and temperance so there's very self-sufficient energy so you could be somebody that's just constantly like maybe you take yourself out to eat a lot by yourself or you you know um go shopping by yourself you just do a lot of things by yourself you don't need anyone so that's another kind of mystique vibe where it's like I see on social media that you're at a bookstore and here and here and I'm your best friend but I didn't go with you so who are you with? You were by yourself the whole time. There's like a vibe of that kind of coming through. Um, I feel like you guys dance to the beat of your own drum as well and I think that's another main character vibe to you. Um, I feel like if you were in a whodunit movie I feel like you'd be the first culprit where people would be like it's that person. It has to be that person um, but it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> you you weren't anything to do with it like you you were probably the least person involved but people would naturally be like i think it was that person because there's this mysterious vibe to you um which is quite funny 
I think that people do get close that do get close with you though they they can really feel that depth and that intensity and I almost feel like if I'm coming into contact with you I'm coming into a cult like not a cult what's the word coven is that a word cult coven where it's like witches and they they're all together and they're like you can't come in unless you have like a secret code is that a cult or a coven I don't know but I feel like coming into that it's like you need a secret password you need like the golden ticket to get into the Willy Wonka factory you need you know that certain um ticket to get into your world uh so it's like that mis that mystery there's this movie called the night before it's a christmas movie and seth rogan's in it and they always want to go to the nutcracker ball but they have no idea to get tickets let alone know where it is where it's based and it's based somewhere different every year and in the movie they finally get these tickets to this nutcracker ball because they steal tickets from someone one of the guys does and they end up going there and it's like this magnificent ball and it's kind of based off like the great gatsby you're the great gatsby that's the main character vibe you have guys you are you are the you are the great gatsby you are leo you are leo you are the great gatsby guy the host the parties and no one knows who it is that's who you are that's the main character vibe that you have that's really interesting you do give off that there's something very enchanting about you as well um it's like an intensity so i don't know like it, if you guys do work with tarot and stuff like that i feel like you may have people around you that might be a little bit scared of it like are they gonna do work on me are they gonna do this to me are they gonna um are they gonna know all my secrets sort of thing there's a vibe like that you guys have that main character vibe um, you could also have group chats with people, but like you rarely speak to the group in the group chats. It's like, I'm not on my phone a lot. I'd rather see you in person. So like people could be talking about things in the group chat and you're just not on your phone to be involved. Like your notifications are going off. You could even have a group chat on mute and then everyone's talking. So you're like that person that just like very rarely responds in the group chat. So that's another kind of vibe. Um, but like anything, when you don't get enough of something, you see it as high value and you kind of want it. So there is that kind of alluring kind of draw to you as well. Where it's like, I want more of that. I want more. I want, I want to see more of it. Like it's it's a luxury, you know. Um, so there is definitely that as well. And I think that you come across as someone with very high boundaries and high standards for yourself and the people that come close to you as well. Um, so that's another thing. Pile number... I also feel you're someone that not a lot of people can get past you like if someone was to lie to you I feel like you'd call it out straight away you'd see it straight away you see through the bs you see through people's masks people's lies you see through it um yeah pile number yeah, and people may even think like, oh, I was trying to talk to that person. I was trying to get into this person's world and they didn't let me. They're cold. You may get people that project that. But I think that you just, it, with you, it's like you either come authentically or you don't come at all. So people that have come at you with a mask or come at you trying to manipulate you into something, you've seen it coming from a mile away. So you've just put the wall straight up. So it's like, oh, I can't get into that person's energy or they were being rude or they were being ignorant all the while you saw through them and you just didn't let them into your world sort of thing. It's like the castle with um you know fiona's in the castle and there's a dragon protecting it you are fiona plus the dragon you know so it's like unless you're coming authentically then sorry i'm not gonna let down these these walls you know so we have wealth like i was saying you guys give this kind of luxury vibe um financial loss or gain blessings accepting you are wealthy with love and emotion um i think if people were trying to step towards you to validate them i think you're the wrong person that they'd step to to do that because i think it's just a case of you come at me authentically then i'll be authentic with you but if you're coming at me because you just want my attention and you want this and you want that for whatever reason that you have you want me to fill a void or whatever wall is up you know what i mean and that's where you're seen as something that's high value then you know like a luxury um and Dior's a luxury brand and you chose a luxury brand so pile number sorry for the 
uh, Nori is crying is we also have equal find and balance acceptance we are the same I think the people that you let in your circle are the people that as are as authentic as you and don't like just click with you or try to get into your zone because they want something necessarily from you it's like we're one and the same I want to be a part of your world um pile number we have summer heat and back vacation On the back of the deck, we have home. Feeling safe, warmth, togetherness, relaxed, time to unwind. I also feel like you're somebody that's maybe cold on the outside, but then warm on the inside. Or has a hard shell, but is very soft on the inside. And maybe that's why you protect yourself a lot and you look after yourself like that a lot. Um, because I feel like when I come into the shell, I understand that warmth. I see that warmth and I, and I see that. And I see your sensitivity and I see all of that. So um, I just had to get beneath the layers sort of thing. Like with the poison perfume, it's kind of shaped like an apple to get through the apple to get to the seed. So I feel like um, when I get close to you, then that's when I understand why it's a luxury to get to know you because of the beauty that's inside this apple you know what i mean um yeah and i think that in its sense gives that kind of luxury vibe because i know that there's something in there that's being guarded so i know you know like when uh big jewelers they guard their jewels they put them in a safe and they guard it or like the crown jewels are in a safe and they guard it because it's like this is luxury it needs to be guarded if something needs to be guarded it's because there's something very worthy inside so there's that main character vibe that you guys are giving off uh so let's pull your final cards pile number three please spirit guides pile number three's main character energy pile number three's main character energy we have health pile number three's main character energy please spirit guides pile number three's main character and then the cards are on their sides. Pile number three's main character energy discovery. Pile number three's main character energy. And we have speculation. So again, like I always say, when people can't know a lot about you, they are going to speculate. They are going to try and find answers. So like I said, there's there's this vibe of like, guess who? Like who done it? Like you're lingering, but you're not here. I want to know more. So it's like I'm asking questions about you. I want to hear gossip about you because I want to know about you. So you may find that you may not involve yourself in a whole lot, but people may speak of you. So then it's like, why are people talking about me? It's like people don't know a lot. So it's like I'm grabbing at scraps sort of that's the sort of vibe um and i you probably find that people are trying to get close to you they'll ask a lot of questions because they want to know more about you they kind of want to pick your brain see what you're doing when you're not around sort of vibe because there's that feeling um coming through hi padme padme's here um she's going to sit on the windowsill paddy's is here as well uh yeah and then of course with discovery i mean it's the same thing when we think of discovery and we're finding things um we're trying to understand something more a lot of archaeologists the reason that they're searching the earth are trying to find information about human beings from the past things that they did from the past there's a knack for it there's a curiosity like i said you are the white rabbit people feel like the alice going down into the wonderland and that's the main character vibe um why do we have health sun in virgo I feel like as well, you guys were very much so, oh, Padme's come to say hi. Say hi, Pads. Oh, she's come to sit on your cards, if that's okay. <laughs> um, we were on the last cards anyway. I wasn't going to put any more down. But um, yeah, I feel like you guys may be in your head a lot. You guys may be um, in your mind a lot. I feel like you guys may even know like a lot of information and things like that. Um, there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of intelligence that I feel like people want to kind of pick from you and pull from you, uh, which is another um aspect to you that draws people in um and yeah guys pile number three that was your main character energy um i hope you guys enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully you guys have a beautiful the words just completely went from me then i hope you guys have a beautiful day so Thank you guys for watching from me and my little patties. I'll put the, you know, so you can see her. Say bye patties.
Say bye bye. Say bye. <laughs> Powerful, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at your main character energy. So you guys chose the Jadot perfume. I'm going to start with Tarot and then we're going to move on to your Oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number four, please, spirit guides. Pile number four. Tap me into... I feel like you guys are very liked. Like, I feel like in regards to you guys being a character, you'd be somebody that was, like, beloved. If you were in, like, a movie or a TV show. Like, you would be that loved character and i almost feel like i either want to defend you or it's like this th there's almost a innocence to you that i feel like i either want to protect you or it's just sweet like i i feel really connected to you in that way and there's a softness to you um that i'm picking up but it's i feel like if you were in any movie tv show reality tv you'd be like the favorite like if you were to leave the show be like what's the point in watching you know when you watch tv shows or reality tv shows and that one character's written out or that one reality star leaves and it's like well what's the point now like what's the point in that show even being what it was like what's the like life of the party sort of vibes as well like when we're going out on a night out like if that person is now what's the point um that person makes it fun that person's a character uh think of like in like it's almost like the backbone of like a show or something like that like think of um think of jersey show i don't know why jersey shows come up but like snooki was very much the main character of that show and i think it would have been pretty boring if she was not there so it's that sort of vibe not saying that you your main character vibe is snooki <laughs> it's just that you are kind of like the beloved one like the character that people love um and similar to pile number one, it's like you don't have to be the one center of attention pushed as the main character to be that beloved character. Because I'm thinking of Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Um, like she wasn't the main character. She didn't even show up until the fifth movie if we're talking movies. However, she um people love her. She's like a like a favorite, you know? So there's that sort of vibe that I'm getting as well. Um pile number and even like draco from harry potter like draco Malfoy, like he didn't have a lot of screen time in the movies but he's kind of a beloved character there so there's that uh vibe as well pile number four pile number four pile number four's main character energy like i feel like if you have if you're in friend groups i feel like you're the beloved you're the beloved one. I feel like if you've been in relationships, you're like the ex that the parents still really love and ask about. Like, you were the favourite there. There's that sort of vibe. I feel like if I used to be friends with you or you were in an old friend group of mine or I was in school or college with you, you were the person that I think to you were beloved. Everyone has a good word to say. It's, it's that sort of vibe. Pile number four. We have the Ace of Thoughts vision board a new opportunity pile number four main character energy we have the eight of thoughts lockdown marinating in it which is the eight of swords pile number four pile number four's main character energy pile number four's main character energy We have the tower, a dumpster fire, a serious wake up call. I also feel, as well as you being beloved in that way, I also feel that you're somebody that um, you may, you could be somebody that moves about a lot. You could be somebody that uh, is maybe constantly doing inner work and evolving as a person. You could be somebody that's constantly changing, maybe changing your vibe, your style, your aesthetic and things like that. Um, you could be a little bit of a wild child. You could travel, you could um, switch jobs a lot, or you could just be somebody that may be quite hard to get hold of um, because I'm picking up that feeling in regards to main character of like, you're not the one that's always there you're someone that's there sometimes but you're a main character for that reason um so you may be somebody that's constantly on the go maybe you do a lot of things by yourself um or you could be like very wrapped up in work so you're always you know in you know connected to your career and things like that so there's like a focus there to where i'm not seeing you a lot but you're beloved you're like a favorite like when you're around it's a good time it's a good day sort of vibe At the back of the deck you have the fool as well uh the millennial starting a journey um so very uh similar to 
um pile number one it's like you not being center of attention there's an allure and essence that makes you this main character but it's 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 different because there's not necessarily anything that's when I say mystical, I, I'm picking up mystical vibes. I feel like some of you guys may quite be connected to spirit um, because I'm picking up somebody maybe going away to heal and then prop, crop, cropping back up. So there's a vibe of that. And there's also a vibe of not knowing all too much about you. But when you're around, I have a good time. Um, when you're around, I have fun. Or when I'm around, I have... When you're around, I have realizations about you. Like you're that person, I feel as well, main character what vibe main character wise that passes on like really good wisdom or good information you may be that pile where i talk about like dumbledore gandalf like you're that person that shows up gives information when you need to and then steps away um and it's almost like flash and you're gone so there's a vibe like that about you guys too um but i feel like you have people think you know you give wisdom to help people out like i feel like you're somebody that it comes across as someone that has no limits and I think that you give really good advice um, in that way. And I also feel like you give advice that marinates a little bit. So you'll plant a seed, walk away, and people will be like, that person just said some wild, crazy stuff. But then like a year from now, it's like, oh my God, that person was right. So you could even be connected to spirit and do readings for people and things like that. It's give it. The reason I was saying Luna love good is because Luna used to say very wacky things. However, when you looked at it, she actually brought a lot of wisdom like when she was talking about um she was saying to harry about these uh beings i don't even know what they were they kind of looked like horses and um no one could really see them but harry and she's like oh you're not going mad like i can see them too and the reason that people couldn't see them is because you had to have witnessed death to see them and luna had witnessed death and saw harry so it's like she has this wisdom but to other people that might not see it because those animals were like invisible to everyone else um she comes across as kooky and she comes across as like what is this person going on about but in actuality you know that she has wisdom so so you may be somebody that gives advice and people don't necessarily take it in that moment and they may think oh that's a bit crazy or it could even trigger them in the moment but then later on they're like oh so you're that sort of character that shows up and gives advice like when you need me um when you really need me, like, I'll show up. But when you want me to be there, I'm not really going to be there. It's that sort of vibe. And I think that you could also find that you um, come into people's lives when they're transitioning or going through something um, in regards to helping them out. Because that's what I'm picking up with the Eight of Swords and the Tower card here. It's almost like the tower's crumbling and there, there you are giving advice, um, which is quite, quite interesting. Um, let's pull some more cards. I want to get deeper with you guys because... There's a, there's a mysterious vibe here, but you're loved. It's like, I feel like if you were a main character, you'd be like that beloved character, like the Dumbledore. Like you'd be the, um, I'm trying to think of characters that do this. Like you'd be, that what's that movie that I've, I've referenced a few times where the girl falls from the sky and she's a star. You'd be that person. You'd be uh la 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 let me think of someone you'd be olaf the snowman helping anna find elsa do you know what i mean like you'd be that beloved vibe like you'd be that beloved and it like there's this energy of like your beloved your beloved character you need to be here what would be the point if you weren't here you're the one planting the seeds you're a big part to the story even if you're not always here um i'm trying to think of other other shows and movies and tv shows that i could bring that in i don't know pile number like a fairy godmother pile number four main character you're definitely that person that people go to when they need advice and help you're admired and looked up to as an elder in that way. And I think that's part of your main character energy. Um, it's given me Merlin when he's in the woods. You, you are Merlin. That's your main character vibe. You wouldn't be the main... You wouldn't be the fairy godmother from Shrek because she was mean. I feel like you'd be... Puss in Boots. Like you'd be that sort of... Puss in Boots makes the movie better. I feel like you'd be... And Puss in Boots ended up having his own movie, so 
that's you guys if you've ever watched the hunger games you'd be like the man that mentors uh the two of them what's his name the man that mentors katniss and peter the blonde guy what's his name i can't remember but he's got blonde hair you'd be like the mentor like people look up to you that's the main character vibe that you give off because it's like you've done it all before you're more enriched in life's wisdom like you are an old soul in a young body you're kind of not from this realm you just kind of show up so it's like when i'm doing something i want your critique i want you to teach me i want you to help me that's why i'm picking up like very big i'm a tarot reader i'm a healer i'm a therapist i'm a counselor i'm a psychologist vibes because like you know you like life coach like you just have that I can I can make it right. I can put it all together because maybe you've been through a lot. So you have that wisdom. And this isn't like, I'm not saying you're not intelligent. You guys are super intelligent. But there's intelligence and then there's wisdom. And I think you have an abundance of wisdom that just shines through. That could have been shining through from a young age as well. Um, but I, I feel like there is some sort of mysterious flair because it's it's that Luna love good. She can see what other people can't see. So she's saying things and people don't get it but the more you get to know her the more you understand you're like ah and then it makes sense why did your card go i just knocked the card and it ran it literally this is what i mean the card that i just pulled it's gone now you see me now you don't i don't know where it is i'm sorry i can't even give you that card it's actually gone um yep that card is gone i'll find that in probably a year's time or something um this is what i mean it's just like where do they go where did they go but your love it's like lovable no one can say a bad word i mean people might try if they're intimidated by that wisdom but i feel like you're very authentic so it's like anytime somebody projects something onto you it's almost like it's turned into smoke let me just Oh god, sorry guys. Oh my god, I just knocked a bunch of cards. This is not fun for me. Guys, so I just bun um I just dropped another bunch of cards on the floor. They literally splattered all over the floor. Um, but what I was what's interesting is that card that just disappeared and I really can't find it. Um I always say it these days, if I lose something or if I can't find something, it's gonna come back to me when it's supposed to. Maybe it's being cleaned by spirit, maybe it's being cleansed, maybe the Fae wanted to borrow it. I always think of stuff like that now whenever I lose it. Because if it's in the house, it's it's not gone far. And I tend to find with cards, say now I'm putting my decks away and a card randomly falls out and I don't see it. When I come back into that room and I see that random card on the floor or if I don't realise it's gone under a table and I haven't seen it in like a week and then I'm cleaning and I see it, usually that card that fell has a message for me. So it's like that card that's just dropped, it probably has a message for me for like maybe like a week's time or two weeks time or whenever I decide to find it, it could have fallen in a bag and I might not find it for a while but it'll have a message for me. And the reason I'm describing that is because that's the vibes you give. It's like you'll show up when i need you not when i want you and that's that's why you're people you're kind of beloved by people because it's like i really need i really need you it's like i'm wishing on a star for you it's like pinocchio when he's looking at the star and the, the fairy came through like it's that sort of vibe that you give off main character wise pile number pile number um four's main character energy we have question explore the truth search for answers trust that the answers will come see trust that the answers will come it's like people want to ask you questions people want to know more things it's like people are coming to you for your wisdom for your intelligence for things that you know for your maybe access to other realms if you work with spirit like that's you know the vibe you give off that's your main character vibes we also have commitment being true to yourself and others committing to trust yourself power and knowledge that's the thing when i say i feel like this is the feeling where i feel like you're beloved because it's almost like people know that you're showing up as your authentic self so people know that you're like committed in regards to like helping them out. Like this is a friend that's going to help me out. This is a friend that's like looking out for me. It's almost like you're a spirit guide, but on earth sort of vibes. 
um like Olaf helping Anna um it's that vibe I hope Olaf does help Anna maybe he helps Elsa I haven't watched that movie in so long I can't even remember it I really don't remember the plot but I know Olaf was helping one of them and that's the vibe you know Olaf if you take it as it resonates if you want to be Olaf you could be Olaf if you if you feel like the fairy godmother resonates you can be that if you feel like Luna Lovegood or Dumbledore resonates you can be that but it's jeez Ed Sheeran just started playing um but it's just um you you give off that vibe of like that guide that elder pile number four um we also have health health matters diet and exercise give the body all that it needs interesting in the back of the deck we have secret <laughs> um hidden messages holding back emotions and locking the secrets and passions within yeah hidden messages i feel like you have guidance for people that they might sometimes not even see sometimes um and then it makes sense later on so there's that mystical kind of you know energy that you give off in regards to your main character energy why do we have health health matters diet and exercise giving the body all that it needs i mean when we want to connect to our physical body and we want to nourish our physical body we have to really um a lot of people will look for guidance there because we're not really taught how to nourish our body. We're not taught to even tune into our body. We're basically just given a bunch of things and told, yeah, that's safe to eat. And then we find out later on that it isn't. Um, and then we have to really research and understand our body like that. And I feel like that's where you come in. It's like this wisdom that's passed on. You know yourself. You know who you are. Maybe you've had to grapple with mental health. Maybe you've had to grapple with health. Maybe you had to grapple with um, finding yourself or going through really tough times. So people want to turn to you for that wisdom because you've been through it. Um, yeah, pile number. It's like, imagine if you were in like a movie, like a character, you would be like the elder that was in the main movie the main character from the main movie and that main character went through a bunch of things and it, you know that movie was like a classic so then they bring out whatever movie it's called two or someone else is like the apprentice and you are then the elder that shows up and you are guiding that kind of like newbie and then you show up as some sort of guide you're like moana's grandmother and she's dancing by the ocean and she guides Moana. Like, you have that. That's why you're beloved. You are Luna Lovegood. You are Dumbledore. You are Olaf. Pile number four. Pile number four's main character energy. We have devotion. Pile number four. I don't know why I wanted to say you are Meryl Streep. But I don't know many movies with Meryl Streep. Like, I know Mamma Mia. I know Devil Was Prada. I know... I can't think of any other ones. But I don't know why I wanted to say you are Meryl Streep. So I don't know if there's movies where Meryl Streep plays a character like that. Maybe because she, Meryl Streep's like an actress that's been in so many movies. She's like an OG. So people would look up to her because she just knows the ropes. Maybe it's that. Uh, but yeah, it could be that as well. We have... Um, eccentricity i'm gonna put a crystal over the card just because youtube don't like you know bodies for some reason um pile number four pile number four's main character energy i've now realized it says um jupiter and aquarius and then <laughs> I, I never know how to say this eccentricity eccentricity i never know how to say that but yeah there's something very eccentric about you uh very different about you dance to the beat of your own drum in your own lane not from here you know devotion yeah i feel like you would be a fan favorite i feel like there'd be fan clubs over you if you were in movies you know like in twilight and everyone loves uh the dad charlie swan i saw someone with like a tribute t-shirt and it was like charlie swan um and i know that in that fan base whatever for twilight people did love charlie swan um because i had a cousin that loved twilight and i knew that he was favored so you're like the beloved one and everyone loved who was the alice 
you would be Al. Oh my God, you because she's psychic as well. Alice is psychic and she gives premonitions, but she's not always there. And she's really unique. And sometimes she says things and you're like, what? You would be Alice from Twilight. Alice and Jasper. Jasper isn't psychic, but you know, I just feel like Alice and Jasper, you'd give off those vibes. I just know Alice is beloved. And Charlie Swan. Pile number four. Main character. Final card, we have innovation. More Aquarius energy. You may have a lot of Aqu Aquarius in your chat. Another Jupiter. In, oh, it's Saturn. Why did I say that was Jupiter, Saturn? Saturn and Aquarius, Jupiter and Aquarius. Why did I mix that up? How annoying. I hate when I do that. My Mercury Virgo does not like that I did that. Um, but there we go. I feel like you guys are very, again, eccentric, different you're just beloved in that way um innovative but in a way of like who would even think to put that top with those trousers who would even think to wear that hat who would ever think to have that color hair like that's so cool that's so you you know what i mean um yeah so pile number four that is your main character energy i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a be beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching